Dear students, I welcome you in the course of Leadership, Emotional Intelligence and Decision Making. This is module number 265 and the topic of discussion is Thinking does not happen without emotion. We have to understand that our thinking is directly linked with the emotions and obviously emotions are obvious going to be influenced by our thinking pattern, thinking style. So, we have to be careful about, consciously careful about our thinking as well as our emotions. When we talk about emotional development, there are certain sources of emotions and moods and those sources are very important for us to understand ki sub development kis tarike se ho pati hai aur is tamam ka mamla aapas mein integrated, aapas mein associated wo kaise hai. For example, when we talk about personality, there is a trait component which affect intensity. So, ab har shaks ki personality mein, har shaks ki shaksiyat ke kuch pehlu hai, jis mein ke mukhtarif tarike se emotions, jazbaat, aisa saath, wo demonstrate ho rahe hote hai. So, it is argued ke personality is going to have an impact on the thinking processes and associated aspects. Isi tarha, the day and time of the week, it is said that there is a common pattern for all of us. Or wo common pattern ye hai, ke happier in the midpoint of the daily work routine, we are happier towards the end of the week and vice versa, hamara jo mood hai, wo fluctuate karta hai in the start of the week and particularly in the early morning or in the late evening. So, whether uske baare mein kehna ye hai, ke that is a illusionary correlation and technically research based koi hamare paas evidences ke upar zyada create wo nahi ho paaya. Likewise, when we talk about stress, remember, even low levels of constant stress can worsen the mood. Chota chota aspect, chota chote mamala, chota chote khilaf varziyan, wo mil kar ek bohut bada masla aapke liye khada kar sakti hain. So, we have to be careful ke hum daily routine stresses, stressors ko apne se avoid karein, so that hum apne burnout ko avoid kar sakein. Isi tarha aapki social activities. It is said that the physical, informal and dining activities increase positive mood. It is also discussed ke your sleep is directly linked with your emotions and moods and it is evidence that poor sleep quality increases negative effect. Likewise, if we talk about exercise, it is said that does somewhat improve mood especially for depressed people and that is the reason ke hum burnout, anxiety, frustration in tamam cases ke andar advise karte hain ke you better go for some healthy exercise, some gym so that aap apne aap ko daily routine mein se jab kuch vakt nikalo ge exercise ke liye to aapka mood behtar wo ho sakta hai. Likewise, if we talk about age, we are talking demographic aspects, par baat kar rahe it is said that older folks experience fewer negative emotions because in the end, after many problems, they have come to understand some things, they are better able to control their emotions, they are better able to demonstrate their positive intent. So, age sometimes matters and we have to be careful about that in every age context, we have some emotions and moods ki variations wo maujood hain. Likewise, agar hum isme generation ko bhi add karein, to different generations ke jo log hain, wo bhi differently think kar sakte hain, differently feel kar sakte hain about the development, about the modernization, about the upgradations. Likewise, so much so, there are certain arguments about gender as well. As it is said that women tend to be more emotionally expressive, feel emotions more intensely, have longer lasting moods and express emotions more frequently than do men. And at the same time, it is said that due more to socialization than to biology. Ab hamara encounter metamorphosis, socialization process ki jo steps hain, wo kis tarah se huye, hum kin kin halat aur vaakyat se guzre, ye tamam chizhe bhi obviously hamare mood and emotion ki demonstration ko effect or impact wo kar rahe honge. Hamare tamam tar demographic perspectives, jis mein ke hum age, gender, tenure, mental status, sect, caste, religion, nationality, bohut si cheezon ko aapas mein relate kar sakte hain, jahaan se humare jazbaat, aisasaat, associations and affiliations wo develop karti hain. Or eventually, ye sab kuch humare thinking process ko impact or effect wo kar raha hooga. Dear students, hume conscious rehne ki zhururat hai, hume ye jannne ki zhururat hai, ke hum kis tarah se sochte hain, koon se jazbaat humare soch ko mutasar karte hain, उन जज्बात को हम वोकैबुलरी देने की कोशिश करें और यह जानने की कोशिश करें कि हमारे ट्रिगर पॉइंट्स वो क्या हैं ताकि हम अपनी क्रिएटिविटी और इनोवेशन के ऊपर कोई कंप्रोमाइज वो ना करें थैंक यू